When Serena Williams wasn't busy on the tennis court killing it, she spent a lot of free time at her gorgeous properties. While she has a custom mansion in Miami to call home now, she's also lived in multi-million dollar estates from Bel Air to Paris, France, and more. Also, Michael and I have dropped our own house tour of our new home that we moved into this year, so go ahead and subscribe to our personal channel if you wanna see where we're living and more of what we're up to. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Serena Williams dominated tennis courts all over the world throughout a 27-year career that would see her win 23 Grand Slam single titles, the most among any player in the Open era, and four Olympic gold medals. That was before she recently called it a day following her appearance at the US Open this past summer. And while no one is going to be forgetting her remarkable athletic accomplishments anytime soon, it's her eye for aesthetic that I really want to take a closer look at today. Recently, Williams worked with her older sister Venus who in addition to being a tennis icon in her own right, also stewards an architectural design firm called V-Star, which helped Serena create a dream home in Miami, Florida. Over the years, Serena has also picked up a series of fantastic estates in a vast real estate portfolio that would put most millionaires to shame. Whether it's the very first one acre lot that she and her sister ever bought located in Palm Beach Gardens, or her $6.6 million Bel Air estate, let's just say that Serena knows a spectacular property when she sees one. And that's far from all of her homes. With all the time she spent in Europe touring the tennis circuit, she also found herself a place in Paris, France. Last but certainly not least, she briefly owned a residence in Beverly Hills where she stayed at while her dream home in Miami was being built. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer back with another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment, today checking out where Serena Williams calls home. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit me up on Instagram to chat, and now let's get into this video. In 1998, only a few years into the start of their storied career, Serena and Venus Williams secured themselves a one-acre plot in a gated community in Palm Beach Gardens, Florida as the very first property they ever bought, to the tune of $525,000. They would then spend the next two years custom building the units they're liking. This resulted in an 8,500 square foot house boasting six bedrooms, including a master suite for each sister, as well as multiple lounge areas, a home theater, a massive eating kitchen, a bright naturally lit library, and a wine cellar. As for the exterior, this gorgeous property featured a resort style backyard complete with a pool, spa, gazebo, and a private lake of its very own. After owning this property for over two decades, the Williams sisters would decide to move off of it in 2019 when they listed the home and sold it for a reported $2.3 million. All right, next, let's head across the country to check out Serena's Bel Air estate. 2006 was quite the year for Serena. While defending her title at the Australian Open, she'd lose in the third round and then take the next six months off, blaming a knee injury at the time, but later revealing in her autobiography that she was dealing with depression. Perhaps looking to distract herself from everything that was going on, Serena picked herself up a $6.6 .6 million mansion in the Los Angeles residential neighborhood known as Bel Air. This 2.7 acre estate includes a main property that span approximately 6,100 square feet and featured six bedrooms, seven bathrooms, and its very own private hair and makeup salon, as well as a bar and study lounge. An ideal home for entertaining, Serena's California mansion also includes a sparkling swimming pool, complete with a picture-perfect outdoor area, including hiking trails and a long covered walkway that guides any visiting guests from the parking area to the entryway of the house. And while you might think having nearly three acres of land would mean that Serena probably installed a tennis court or two, she ended up deciding against that. Serena would own this property for over 13 years before finally listing it in 2019 for just under $12 million. She wouldn't quite get what she asked for when a buyer finally came calling, but she still walked away with $8.1 million. 
Now that we've checked out a couple of Serena's stateside homes, let's take a hop across the Atlantic and look at the incredible home she owns in Paris, France. When taking part in the French Open every year as part of your day job, it really helps to have a place to live in the breathtaking city of Paris. So in 2007, Serena decided to close on a two-bedroom home in the French capital's seventh borough. During an interview with USA Today in 2013, Serena would explain what inspired her to make the move, telling them, I really fell in love with Paris six years ago. A lot of Americans don't like Europe, and I can understand, but I like a change. It's not entirely clear how much Serena paid for her Paris apartment, but a few years later in 2016, she'd invite us to take a look at the place, giving everyone a quick tour and revealing an aesthetic that included a neutral palette of gray floors and black doors. Serena also totally renovated the kitchen to spice the place up a bit, and the nearby office, which is near the kitchen, is one of her favorite rooms in the entire apartment. This is also one of the homes where Serena keeps a few of the many, many trophies that she's won over the years, and she has them sitting in a place of pride directly in the middle of her living room. And of course, even with this only being a two-bedroom place, Serena's walk-in closet is pretty large and boasts a massive wardrobe featuring the type of clothes that you would expect from a trend-setting jet-setter living in the high-fashion district of Paris. As best we can tell, Serena still owns this apartment to this day, but now that her playing career is coming to an end, maybe she'll look to sell it since she probably won't be spending as much time in Paris as she used to. We'll just have to wait and see, but for now, let's return to the USA and check out yet another one of Serena's homes. Over the past few years, Serena has bought herself a series of Florida homes, including a second address in Palm Beach Gardens, and more recently, a waterfront estate in Jupiter. But it seems that she hasn't spent much time living at either of those addresses. The reason why? She was too busy getting her dream property absolutely perfect. Just north of Miami, Serena found one of her main residences. Although it's unclear how much she spent on this property, she bought it sometime in 2017 and then took the next three years to renovate it with the help of her sister Venus and her newly launched design firm V-Star. Serena would tell Architectural Digest about the process in 2021, I was moving away from Venus for the first time in my life, so I wanted it to be really meaningful. You have to know your lane. I'm really good at playing tennis, I'm not as good at interiors, but I was able to learn through just watching Venus. This 14,500 square foot Spanish Mediterranean style mansion was transformed into a modern masterpiece, complete with its own gym, sauna, wine cellar, infinity pool, and even a 620 square foot closet. The kitchen here is stunning with white walls and black cupboards for some contrast, as well as a modern dining table and top-notch appliances. Then the former front foyer of the home has now been transformed into a creative art sanctuary. And with the impressive art pieces she's managed to collect over the years sprinkled throughout, Serena considers this to be her very favorite part of the house. When it came time to decorate her daughter Olympia's bedroom, Serena selected a pink custom-designed castle bed, complete with a built-in slide and a one-of-a-kind blown glass chandelier. And while the slide seemed like a great idea at the time, now Serena's worried that she might have gone a little overboard. Telling Architectural Digest about her daughter's room, she goes down the slide every night. While we're thinking, man, we shouldn't have done that, because now at bedtime, she just wants to slide. But whatever makes her happy makes me happy. Serena also knows just how to make herself happy, and hidden behind a bookshelf in the gallery room is a secret doorway, which leads to one of Serena's passions, a karaoke room all her own. Inside, you'll find a small stage, aquamarine chairs, and even a neon sign reading Serenade. Get it? I don't know about you guys, but if I had a home like that, I really wouldn't be looking for any more. But last, let's check out one final property back in the state of California. Around the same time that she was securing that Miami dream home for herself, Serena also bought a property in Beverly Hills, California. After all, she knew her new home in Miami was gonna take a while and she needed a place to crash in the meantime. So she moved into a celebrity-filled neighborhood with other residents such as Britney Spears and Gwen Stefani. This home offers five bedrooms, seven bathrooms, and a Spanish-style design for the price tag of $6.7 million. You'll also find an open floor plan, including a spacious main bedroom with its very own fireplace and folding glass doors that lead directly to a private bathroom. Other highlights include a gorgeous living room with fireplace and roomy kitchen with double-wide island that opens to the terrace. 
On the lower level, Serena had access to an entertaining space with its very own web bar and wine cellar as well as a home gym. Other amenities are said to include a games room, massage room, and yoga room, while the grounds have an outdoor cooking space as well as a small pool. Once her dream home in Miami was finally ready, Serena packed up and listed this Beverly Hills property in 2021 for $7.5 million. Well, that's going to conclude our Serena Williams house tour. Let me know what you thought of her many homes down in the comments or which one was your fave. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't. Follow me on Instagram to chat and I'll see you all in another video. Bye.